Hi everyone, the energy is pretty heavy today, so we're going to get into it. Um, I know you guys requested a, a new love reading. I'm going to do that soon. Um, I haven't forgotten about that. I'm just kind of going with where I'm led energetically. So let's see what the energy is right now. The Hermit, the Ten of Pentacles, Judgment, Two of Pentacles, Someone is in hermit mode and they're being forced to, it's like they're having this recognition that they could have had everything, 10 of pentacles, finances, love, happiness, just anything they could have ever wanted. But judgment is being called on them. I feel like, I feel like spirit guides are calling judgment on them actually for juggling. It's like they had this blessing with love, with money, and they decided to juggle it. They decided to play the field, see what else was out there. Um, or they just juggled, maybe just, you know, self-sabotage, whatever it is. It's like they had this blessing and they kind of sabotaged it and they're, they're being judged for that. Tell me more about the eight, of, the eight of Cups and the Sun. Eight of Swords. They feel like somebody is walking away here because they got clarity. Eight of Swords, the Lovers, the Ten of Cups. Yeah, the thing is that this person doesn't realize is they're doing it to themselves. Eight of Swords is somebody who's sort of in a victim mentality. The Lovers is about, I mean, it could be the Soulmates, Twin Flames, but it's also about a choice. They're choosing this. They're, they're not a victim. This person that's in hermit mode, that's going over, you know, like they're having these realizations that they basically messed themselves up, that they did this to themselves but they're not wanting to face it. They're going to come to this awareness that there was they have a choice. They can choose to stay in Eight of Swords energy and play the victim and blame other people and not take responsibility or, you know, they could have the 10 of cups, true love, happiness. Um they don't really have a lot of time left to make that decision though if they they still let's see, King of Wands, the High Priestess, Queen of Cups. Tell me more about this. Yeah, the thing is that this person, it's like true love and abundance can be right in front of their face and they'll still sabotage it. They'll still play the victim. They'll still blame other people and not take responsibility. And that's why they're going to end up losing this High Priestess Queen of Cups. But they're going to look back and they're going to realize that was the choice they made. You know what I mean? Especially with the King of Wands. King of Wands can be good, but it's also somebody who can be a bit stubborn, passionate. Southern of Wands is somebody defending, defending their ground. Southern of Wands, justice. The we Yeah, what I'm getting here is... This person here has bad karma, male or female, lots of bad karma. This is, especially with the Eight of Swords, it's like somebody that just, it's like, again, they just play the victim. They can sabotage themselves and they'll, they'll still blame other people for it. They'll blame other people for their choices. It's like, this is the kind of energy that you could cry over this man a thousand times. And he's not going to consider your emotions. He might even, with the Queen of Cups here, he might even use your emotional state against you. He might even use his, your emotions to his advantage. Which is why you're probably standing around here. You're not, you know, you, you know that it's not safe for you to be emotional with him. You know it's not safe for you to be in Queen of Cups energy with him anymore. Because you've seen time and time again that he just uses your emotions uh, to his advantage. However he can. And that he just takes you for granted. But yeah, we have justice and the Wheel of Fortune here. Oh, anyway, what I was saying is like, this is the type of man where it's like, you could cry a thousand times over this man. Your heart could just break into a million little pieces. And what he's going to notice is the one time that you made him cry out of the thousand times that he maybe made you cry and broke your heart. He's going to think about the one time 
you made him cry. Like, how dare she? How dare she say this? Or how dare she do that? How dare she make me cry? It's just all about him. You have, and this is the energy that I was channeling to. You have a spirit guide that's pissed. <laughs> you got justice and the wheel of fortune here. This is some bad karma that this person's coming into. And I think they're coming into this bad karma because they're, again, they're playing the victim. They're still not taking accountability. They're still, again, it's like that person that's like, how dare you make me cry? But they're not thinking about the thousand times that they probably make you made you cry, the thousand times they broke your heart. It's all about that one time that you hurt them. You know what I mean? Like, this is somebody who could neglect you and, you know, probably was not very emotionally available. Maybe somebody that didn't touch you, didn't kiss you, didn't hold your hand, didn't wasn't cuddly with you, wasn't affectionate, didn't seem happy to see you, um, maybe even ghosted you or got distant or it's like played on their phone all the time or something like just I just get this energy of like neglect, you know what I mean? Like, like physical neglect, like this man was not taking care of you physically, he was not taking care of you mentally, emotionally, there was there was very little support from this man is basically the energy I get. But yeah, it's that type of man that can like, you know, neglect you, ignore you, um, not give you attention, not give you his time, not be physically affectionate with you, not be emotionally expressive with you, um, you know, play on his phone around you like all the time and just like neglect you and not really, you know, give you attention, not really make you feel wanted or special or loved in any way, like kind of just making you feel invisible. But the one time you do it to him, like if he's on his phone all the time, the one time you pull your phone out and you're like, okay, fine, that's that's when he that's when there's an issue, you know what I mean? Or, or he can neglect you and, and not be affectionate or expressive. But when this woman is, you know, pulls back her love, that's when oh, like she like she screwed him over. No, uh, uh, she is responding to his energy. She is responding to his choices, his words, his decisions, his actions, also his inactions, not just the things that he said and done, but also the things that he didn't do. Lack of affection, lack of honesty and communication, lack of um, emotional expression, lack of vulnerability. She is responding to that energy, to not having her needs met, to being neglected, to being taken for granted, to being you know, mentally tortured by this man to being hurt by this man so, so many times. Um, but again, this man, you know, like I said, it's like you, he can neglect you a hundred times. The one time you neglect him, that's when it's going to be an issue. He's not, he's not, he's not going to, no matter how much pain you're in, he's, he's not going to worry about it unless he's the one in pain, unless, you know, like, like he's, he's not, he's not noticing it unless he's the one in pain, unless he's the one being neglected. And then suddenly it's like, kind of like one of those men that just acts like, like she switched up out of nowhere, like, oh, I don't know what happened. Like, I don't like, no, he knows, he knows what he did. He knows what he did. He knows what he didn't do. And more importantly, the divine knows it's his spirit guides know. Um, this is not good karma justice next to the wheel of fortune. This is like life altering kind of karma. This man is about to have some shit come in for him. He's about to have people are going to treat him the same way he treated this woman. I almost tell me more about that. Tell me more about this karma. Eight of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. King of Cups. The Chariot. Seven of Cups, Six of Wands, Two of Wands, <laughs> Five of Swords. Yeah, it's going to seem like all this good energy. It's going to seem they're going to break this man down in the worst ways. Because it's going to be one of those things where it's like, he's going to be building, he's going to be working on... Um, Again, trying to distract himself, himself, maybe telling himself that, you know, like with the eight of swords energy, that's again, somebody that plays the victim, somebody that blames everybody else but themselves. Like they're not seeing that they're a huge part of the problem, if not all of the problem. This man is going to be broken down in the worst ways because he's going to think like, 
again, just not taking accountability. He's not going to see all the damage and all the pain that he caused this woman. So he's going to think, he's probably going to think, I mean, I think he does see it deep down, but I think that he's in denial. And so I think that he doesn't want to deal with it. He doesn't want to deal with the emotions that she brings up. He doesn't want to deal with maybe having to step up and act like a real man and apologize and put the work in and make things right, rebuild trust, um, face himself. You know, we, this is this kind of goes hand in hand with that message we've been getting where it's like that. Um, what was that reading I did uh, recently where there was part one and part two and, and part one was about uh, the, this group of masculines, it's like the, the mask is being ripped off. Their comfort zone is done. There's no, they might, they might try to go back to their comfort zone, but they can't. They are being exposed. The mask is being ripped off. Not saying that they're a horrible person necessarily. I mean, there might be some toxic traits there for sure. But just that in general, it's like they're, um, they're being forced to look at themselves. They're being forced to face their traumas, to face past wounds, to to um, embrace that that emotional side of themselves, to to make changes, to become a better man, to become a better person, to do right by people. They're being pushed to do those things. And, you know, in those readings you were getting, it's like the mask is coming off with or without this woman in his life. It doesn't matter. Either way, he has spirit guides around him that are pushing him to make these changes. There's no going back. And the more he tries to escape, the more he tries to run, the harder it's going to get for him. Um, cause what I'm getting here is basically his spirit guides are going to break him down in the worst ways. They're going to, they're going to give him this illusion almost that, how do I explain this? If he's in denial, like if he keeps trying to act like it's everyone else, like eight of swords energy, like tries to act like it's everyone else's fault. Like he's not the one, you know, like he has no part in that. Again, somebody that can rip your heart out, make you cry a thousand times. And they only really think about the one time that you made them cry and not the thousand times that they made you cry, that kind of energy. Um, so I feel like they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna break this man, man down in the worst ways, honestly. I'm hearing you don't even need to, you're, you're he almost like he's going to think it's like a hex and it's not even a hex. It's your spirit guides coming through and taking care of it. What your spirit, your spirit guides do not play with the energy I'm getting with justice and the wheel of fortune. Like shit, your spirit guides do not play with this high priestess, queen of cups. They don't play when it comes to her, like your, your soul group or your, your spirit guides, these spirits that you have around you that you work with, they do not play when it comes to this woman. Like people will think that they're hexed by her. And this has probably happened to people in the past, like friends or whatever. It's not a hex. It's, you know, she's the queen of cups. She's not doing all that. It's these spirit guides are far worse than any hex that anybody could do. The karma that's coming in for this man is so much worse than any hex. Trust me. Like he's going to wish it was as simple as a little hex. But anyway, what I'm seeing is they're going to break him down in the worst ways. But again, it's up to him. It's really up to him because we kept getting that, that card about having a choice. Does he want to stay in the Eight of Swords energy and blame everybody else and not take accountability? Or, you know, we have the we have the Ten of Cups where it's like, wow, like he could actually have happiness. He could actually have love, abundance, good things coming into his life. That he is the one blocking himself from this woman. He's she's his actions and inactions are are what's causing this block between them. It's not, she's not, she's not even blocking. I mean, her spirit guides might be blocking, but it's, he's the one sabotaging his own blessings. He's the one sabotaging his own success. The choice is his, what path he wants to take. You know, he can't blame her for any of this. She's, she's right there, but she's going to react based on what he's doing or what he's not doing. So if he has any chance with her, and I feel like he does, with the Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles still showing up, it does seem like there is still a chance for true love and happiness and abundance with this woman. But he would really have to make those changes soon because that, that ship is going to sail if he doesn't make some pretty major life changes soon. If he doesn't start making those efforts soon, that ship is going to sail, it looks like. But anyway... um. 
Yeah, sorry, sorry. Sometimes when I channel, I just kind of go on a tangent. They're going to break him down in the worst ways because Eight of Pentacles is like somebody like working on something. Page of Pentacles, we got King of Cups, the Chariot. So for these masculines that do not take accountability, there's going to be some that do and some that actually do become the kind of man, men that they want to be. And when they do that, they're going to be amazed at how many blessings they have come in, not just with love, but with money too. Ten of Pentacles is like general generational wealth, career, success, money, like it's lots of good energy. But if they choose to go down a more karmic path and they choose to you know, act on fear, on ego, on pride, all of those things. If they basically what I'm getting is if they if they try to tell themselves that, you know, this woman is just difficult. And then, you know, of, of course, coincidentally, like I bet everybody, every woman before her was just difficult, too. It has, you know, nothing to do with him. It's all all these women, all, you know, all these exes of his or these past friends or whatever. It's it's just He's going to be forced to look at the pattern here, even if he has dated abusive women. I'm not saying he hasn't, but he's still going to see a theme where, you know, these women weren't just getting jealous or getting defensive for no reason. There's he plays a part in that, basically. But, yeah, it's really up to him whether what path he wants to go down. But but what I'm getting is these spirit guides are not playing when it comes to this woman. If he hurts her anymore, if he does the same shit, his life is his life is not going to go well. They're not doing it because he's caused her so much pain already. He's caused her a world. He doesn't even he, he's not empathetic. And I don't want to say he's not empathetic enough, but I don't think he's aware of just how much pain he's caused this woman. But anyway, what I was saying about him, them breaking him down in the worst ways is I get this feeling that. If he doesn't take accountability, he just kind of tells himself that, you know, this woman is just difficult. Like, you know, he doesn't want to face himself. He doesn't want to look in the mirror, doesn't want to face his traumas, get mental help, uh, work through things, be a better person. Like he wants to just run and keep doing the keep doing the same shit to people again. His spirit guides will break him down in the worst way because they'll actually let him think that. They'll let him think for a while. They'll be like, yeah, sure. They'll, they'll let him think like, yeah, sure. She was just difficult. Let's go ahead and see what else is out there. Go ahead and King of Cups chariot. Go ahead and see what else is out there. He's going to be met with multiple choices, but they're going to be illusions. They're not the, the grass isn't going to be greener, greener on the other side. He's going to be trying to build something and it's going to end in conflict. So it's like when I say they're going to break him down in the worst ways, it's it's not it's not like this man is necessarily going to repel women. He might to an extent because I feel like there will be other spirit guides that are protecting other women from going through this cycle with him. And again, I'm not saying that he's a horrible person, but this is somebody who has to take accountability and get more in touch with their soul and be the person that they are deep down, the person that, you know what I mean? Like this is somebody who they might play mind games based on fears of abandonment on, and based on past traumas. So again, I'm not saying this person's a bad person. I'm saying that this person can't keep playing these games and can't keep hurting other people because of how he was hurt. It's almost like somebody that was hurt in childhood and hurt in relationships. And now it's like he wants revenge or justice or he just thinks that he can keep going from from person to person and hurting other people the way that he was hurt. And it's not going to go down like that. So, yeah, it, it's like, you know, like I was saying, he's not necessarily going to repel women. He might repel some women, but I'm getting more of the energy where his spirit guides are going to rip the rug out from under him, where they're going to they're going to allow him to think, yeah, sure, this woman was just difficult you know, go see what else is out there. Um, and just when he's building things, just when he's putting in the time, the emotion, the energy, this th th these other women are going to re reject him. He's going to realize it was an illusion. There's he's going to like I said, he's he's they're going to break him down in the worst ways. They're going to he's going to get treated the same way he treated you. These women are going to start treating him like shit the same way he treated this woman. He's going to go see what else is out there, I think, for some of them. And yeah, just when he opens his heart, just when he starts building with them, just when he starts really, um, you know, when he's in that illusion energy, like, oh, yeah, see, see, it wasn't me. Like he, he wants confirmation that it's not him because he doesn't want to face himself. He wants to blame this other woman for his, you know, she must just be difficult. It's not me. It surely couldn't be me. I don't want to I don't want to face myself. So so, yeah, for, for those masculines that are going down a more karmic path they're going to start building with somebody they're going to start putting this energy in and they're gonna 
they're going to get rejected a lot. They're probably going to get their heart broken. They're going to open up to somebody and this woman is going to do the same shit to them that they did to you. I also feel like they're going to see that you were not the problem here. They're going to be led to... I just don't see relationships going well for them, basically. Like, it's not going to go how they think it's going to go. And I feel like... It's like if they took your your vulnerability and your emotions for granted and they actually use them against you to exploit you and control you, somebody is going to do that to them. They're going to have a woman that's going to do that to them. They're going to open up to somebody and they're going to think, wow, this is easier. See, it wasn't, you know, see, all my exes were just really complicated and dramatic. Like, see, I knew I got confirmation. It wasn't just me. And then just when they allow themselves to be happy, this other woman is going to going to be like, like cheat on them, or they're going to be like, screw you, like something like that. Like they're going to, they're going to call them out to you. And they're going to be forced to, they, they just have a lot of bad karma coming in. And they're going to be forced to look at themselves. They're going to be forced to, it's almost like it has to be unexpected, because right now they might be in like a defensive energy, like they might be in like kind of like a cold guarded def defensive energy, especially with this Queen of Cups. So that's why their spirit guides are going to get them or someone's spirit guides are going to get them to that point where they're like, you know, open again, where they're the king of cups, where they're, you know, like when, when they just finally, when they just relax and then boom, <laughs> they, they get a taste of their own medicine. And just the, the rug is just, they're going to get them to that point where they're open hearted and they're just going to pull the rug right out from under them. And I feel like this this woman, too, if they try to go down that easier path, I feel like this woman, too, is also going to because um, I'm seeing something about this man being an emotional in an emotional state, which he's not usually in an emotional state, but they're going to push him into an emotional state with new people that he might date um, or talk to or whatever. And it's like just when he's in that emotional state, that's when everything's going to crumble just like that. Um when it's like he's going to be waiting, wanting to build, wanting to plan long term, and then boom, he's met with conflict. I feel like also, you know, again, because he's defensive with this Queen of Cups and this High Priestess energy, I also feel like it's it's part of that, um, <clears throat> sorry, part of that energy is like, you know, like I was saying, they're going to wait until he's in that emotional vulnerable energy so that he gets, you know, he he feels what it feels like to have someone use his emotions against him like that. And also so that he's more receptive to the karmic lessons that he's been trying to avoid learning. Because when he's in a defensive state, it's hard for him to really grow and open up, open his mind up, open to new perspectives and learn and evolve. But, you know, that's why they're going to sweep the rug out when he's in that emotional state, because he's going to be caught off guard. I see like a deer in headlights energy where he's like, damn, like I thought I thought this was the easy path. I thought this was the better path. And he's going to be whoever this woman is, he's going to be met with so much drama and chaos with her. He's, it's not she's going to call him out, too. I feel like she's going to call him out in a way that's much worse than how the Queen of Cups called him out. I feel like she'll call him out in ways that are more like like she won't be as gentle with him as what I'm feeling. She's just going to be like, oh, you're you're shit for doing this. You know what I mean? Like she's she's not going to be as patient and gentle. And she's not going to whoever she is, she's not going to want to build with him either. Just when he's getting to that point where he wants to build something with her, she's going to be like, nope, conflict, drama. But yeah, he's going to be shocked because, again, he's going to be in that emotional state, which is, again, is going to make him more receptive to the karmic lessons, though, and to the, um, you know, the knowledge that's coming in. So, yeah, basically, if he tries to go down an easier path, it's not going to go well for him. And it's not saying like he has to be with this queen of cups, but he's his spirit guides. There's there's multiple women that are being protected from this man is kind of the energy I get. His spirit guides are not going to let him go from person to person to person and do the same shit over and over again to these women and blame them for it and blame, you know, not take accountability like they're not they're not allowing that anymore. There's divine intervention here. They're like, no, no, you're going to face yourself. You're going to look in the mirror. 
you don't want to look in the mirror you don't want to you don't want to face your traumas you don't want to do the healing you don't want to take accountability make apologies probably needs to apologize to multiple people you don't want to make things right with people that's fine um you know we'll we'll break you down in the worst ways then we'll break you down in a way that's he's already broken down right now but they'll break him down in an even worse way a much heavier way where it will just be like rock bottom for him it will just it, it's like the world will come crashing down on him at the worst timing when he's at his most vulnerable just when he's opened himself up again that's when he's gonna he's gonna deal with this chaos um justice and the wheel of fortune i just keep hearing your spirit guides don't play about you they do not play when it comes to you you have so in previous readings and i, I do still feel that energy where it's like he's how do i explain this this is all ultimately for his highest good. You know what I mean? Like he's, he might not be seeing it that way, but it's ultimately for his highest good. Like his spirit guides, that was kind of like the, the energy we were getting in that part one and part two video I did too. Part two was advice for these masculines on how to make these changes. You know, these spirit guides aren't like punishing him. It's not like, oh, I'm out to get you. And I'm, it's, it's not like that. It's, it's they want they don't want him to take accountability because they're trying to make him suffer it's not like that they want him to face himself to look in the mirror face those inner demons take accountability you know make amends with people um work on being a better person you know really work on himself uh you know not sabotaging himself and they want to bring blessings in love money abundance like he has he could have everything if he chooses to go down a better path you know, so like I said, they're not like trying to torture him or punish him for funsies. It's like they they want him to be happy. They want him to get in alignment with his soul. They want him to be mentally healthy. They want him to to get his shit together and have a good life. You know what I mean? Like they, they want the best for him. So even though these changes are intense and scary, you know, he really didn't allow his spirit guides any other choice. He didn't want to do things the easy way. So now he's being forced to do things the hard way. I want to say, though, too, because I feel like most of these spirit guides really do have his best interests at heart. And that, that's been the energy that I've gotten like the past, you know, week, week and a half that I've been channeling this energy group. I've, I've mostly gotten this energy of like, there's a lot of spirits around this man right now, really pushing him to make these life changes. But again, they're not they're pushing hard because it's like. For one thing, the door is about to close with this Queen of Cups. She's not doing this anymore. Like he's going to have to come after her now and make things right or he's gonna that wheel is gonna turn and he's gonna end up losing her if he doesn't take accountability and go go after her and you know make an effort with her and make some pretty big changes she's you know he's going to lose her so i think that's part of it is that the karmic wheel is turning so that's partially why his spirit guides are pushing so hard right now because they're like hey you're about to lose you know this queen of cups like you're gonna lose this person you're gonna lose this these financial blessings you're gonna lose this abundance that we've been trying to bring into your life if you don't make effort and and make these changes and you know own own your shit finally um but i do want to say like I, I am getting another message from that though and i think this is just like the past day or two this is a recent energy i feel like so again, what I was saying is like most these spirit guides mostly have good intentions where it's like they really just want this person to and it's about them. It's not even about like a relationship or abundance or whatever else. It's about them. They want them to do this work for themselves so that, you know, so that they can be their true selves so that they're not at war with themselves so that they're not giving themselves anxiety, sabotaging themselves. They want them to heal. They want them to to really work on themselves they want them to open up to blessings you know what i mean like they have a lot of blessings in store for them but those aren't really going to come in if they're not in alignment with them but anyway um so yeah i mean these spirit guides really do have their best interest at heart even if it feels scary or overwhelming you know he kind of forced them into this he kind of forced them to that place where they they have no choice but to do things the hard way since he wasn't listening before but I honestly do feel now like another spirit guide, maybe it's either one or two spirit guides have just come in that actually are just pissed on this Queen of Cups behalf. And their intention honestly isn't really to... 
I mean, they might, I almost feel like a, like a bring in, okay, okay, I guess we have to do it the hard way, bring in the big guns kind of energy, like, this is, I'm hearing Hecate for somebody, like, for someone, you're, you might have a goddess that you work with that's really pissed on your behalf, for others, it could be a god, a goddess, it could be, um, you have a really powerful but kind of dark a spirit guide around you, but not like dark in a bad way, but just someone almost like a dark feminine energy you don't want to mess with. Um, or it could be a masculine energy too, but you have some kind of god or goddess, or it could be an ancestor too. It could be an ancestor of yours. Somebody, there is a spirit though that is pissed at this masculine for all he has put you through this queen of cups, like there is a spirit guide that is so tired of seeing this woman's heart broken over this man. There's a spirit guide that's so, so tired of seeing her cry over this man. There's a spirit guide that is so, so tired of just seeing her just fall apart and just feel like her world is just ending over this man. There's a spirit guide that is just, it's, it's unjustified. And I feel like there's a spirit guy that has intervened and they're coming into this man's life. And this is like a, this is like more of a dark spirit. I don't know what they're going to do, but it's like, I keep getting like, he's going to feel like he's being hexed and she's not doing shit to him. She's not hexing him. It's this spirit guy, this ancestor or, or a deity or something that, that this man is pissed off too many times. She might have even... I almost feel like she might have even been holding the spirit guide back and protecting him from it in the past. Like she might have even, I mean, she may not be conscious of it, but I almost feel like in like the astral realm, like in the higher realms, the spirit guide might have been like, you want me to take care of this? You want me to take care of this? And this queen of cups was like, no, like I love him. I I want him to be gentle. I, I, I want to be gentle with him. I want him to be safe. I don't want to, you know, like let's try to do things the easier way. I don't want to hurt him. She might be so devastated at this point, so just so broken from this man that she's like on like a higher level, like in the astral realm, even if she's not conscious of it, she might have just been like, you know what? Fuck it. Go, go after him. He deserves it. Go let, go make this man feel every fucking thing he's made me feel. I feel that energy. I swear. I, Cause I keep seeing this, like for someone it's Hecate, for someone here, it's Hecate. I don't know who though, but for some, that's your goddess that you work with. And you'll probably know if that's me messages for you. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's almost like there's, there's a spirit guide or an ancestor that's just pissed on this queen of cups behalf. She's like, no, mm -mm. <laughs> like he, this, this male or female, I don't know if it's a male or female. Spirit. Well, it's going to be different for everybody, but this spirit guide is just pissed justice and the wheel of fortune. This is bad karma. And so I want to say like, this man has a lot of spirits around him. He's about to have even more spirits around him. The majority of them are good spirits that again, just genuinely want to see him heal and evolve and grow and be a good person. I mean, he is a good person, but you know what I mean? Like take accountability and like, get back in touch with his his soul, you know, be in alignment. Um, they really want good things for him. You know, it's it's so strange that he's defensive with it because it's like these spirit guides are really actually trying to help him. They want him to be happy. They want, you know, they want to see this man heal. But this other spirit guide, honestly, she, <laughs> male or female, this other spirit guide or this ancestor, she, they this other spirit doesn't give a fuck if this man heals, honestly. This other spirit that's coming through, and it's just like the past day or two. I don't know. Maybe this woman, maybe this Queen of Cups was like crying out or maybe she just felt a certain way and this spirit guide was like, enough is enough. Or maybe she finally got to that point where, you know. And again, this wouldn't be like a conscious thing. I don't think. I think this would be more in like the astral realm where maybe the spirit guide came through and is like, you want me to handle this? And she's like, you know, go, go for it. Go for it. Just do it, whatever. Do it. Fine. Um... Because, yeah, this other spirit guide that's coming through, she she doesn't. She, she's this other spirit guide is only concerned with this queen of cups. This other spirit guides is like just wants to make this. This other spirit just wants to make this man suffer. And give him a taste of his own medicine. Like this other spirit, this is like the one spirit around him that like doesn't give a fuck if he heals or not. It's just it's it's just about you know, what this spirit guides views as justice. 
So yeah, there's some pretty bad karma coming in for this man. But again, it's like, he's doing it to himself. He's making, he is responsible for his choices. He, the karmic wheel turns, whether it's turns in a good way or a bad way, it is up to him. That's what, that's what this masculine is not really getting. It's ultimately up to him. Because, and that's, that's what I want to, if you're like, because I'm, I'm sure a lot of you are, are the, in that Queen of Cups energy where you're watching this on behalf of your masculine. And I'm not saying not to send them healing energy or not to feel bad for them, but you have to also understand that they are making these conscious decisions. They could wake up tomorrow and they could say, hey, I'm sorry, I messed up, I hurt you, I, I really want to do better, can we work through things? Like they could take accountability, they could make the effort. This masculine is choosing to be prideful. He is choosing fear over love. He is choosing ego over love. He is choosing his pride over love again and again. And that is his choice. So, you know, that's that's why it's like, you know, don't, I mean, feel bad for them a little bit, but not too bad because it's like, again, they're doing this to themselves. This masculine has hurt way too many people. This isn't just about this queen of cups. It's more, I'm seeing several people that this person has hurt that he needs to either apologize to or like make amends with or kind of I don't know because it's not it, it, it's this has been going on for to have bad karma to this extent this had to have been going on for for probably years this isn't this isn't like this isn't the kind of bad karma where it's like just you know you mess up for a month or two no this is like this is bad karma that's accumulated over the years and this karmic debt is is coming through. I don't know if there's like a planetary cycle coming up or something where I don't I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe there's something coming through where there's like I think it maybe it depends on like his um birth chart or something like for some of these masculines like they have um like I just keep hearing like a cycle like there's this karmic cycle that's like coming up for them like this year this year is either going to be a really good year for them or it's going to be a really bad year based on their choices. So, so again, that's why that you know, that's why I say like don't feel too bad for these masculines because again, they're doing it to themselves. They're, you know, if they're choosing not to take accountability, they're choosing not to make changes, not to even try to make changes, just to try to sweep things under the rug. That's a conscious choice that they are making to stay in that energy, to to choose fear over love, to choose their ego over love. Also, some of them want to play games to get this woman's attention, and it's actually going to backfire on them. Um, they're going to push this woman. If they play games, they're actually going to push this woman even further away. Not only are they going to push this woman further away, but they're also going to piss whatever this spirit. I don't know what this spirit is that's coming through, but it's 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 a very you have a very this Queen of Cups has a very strong spirit guide that is protecting her. That is fighting on her behalf. That's like, no, you're not getting away with this anymore. So so if they try to play games with her again, if they try to. I just keep hearing like a spirit guy. I'm not like hearing it, but like I'm feeling that energy of like a spirit guide saying I'm going to play them like it's not even funny. Like, like this spirit guide is like, like I said, pissed on this Queen of Cups behalf. Yeah, if they try to play games with her, if they try to upset her, if they try to make her jealous, if they try to hurt her, it's going to backfire on them so bad. If they try to do anything like that to her, it's going to backfire on them again, because, because for one, she's going to take that as a sign. She's going to see that and she's going to be like, okay. I guess they're choosing not to change. I guess, you know what I mean? Like she's going to observe that and she's going to be like, okay, I guess she's smart. She's the high priestess. She knows everything, even if she doesn't speak on it. So she's going to see that and she's going to be like, okay, I guess this person's choosing not to change. I guess this person's choosing to, you know, repeat the same patterns, do the same things over and over again. Um, I guess it's the same shit as before and she's going to be done. Uh, not only that, but again, the spirit guide that's fighting on her behalf is going to be pissed at seeing that, seeing him do that. After all the pain he's already caused, seeing him play games, she's, this spirit guide's not going to be happy. Because, you know, with the high priestess here, I feel like, I feel like this woman is aware of most of the games that he played or things that he did or, or she, he's, she's way more of the energy than he realized. She's way more of, more aware of what's going on behind the scenes than he might be aware of. But you also can't hide from spirit guides. You can't hide from God or from gods and goddesses, from, you know, ancestors, from spirit guides. You can't, this man might be able to play games. He might be able to, 
you know, talk to other women on his phone. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing like right in front of her. And even if she doesn't know it, her spirit guides know. Whether she knows or not, her spirit guides know. Shit like that where it's like he might think that he's, you know, he wants to get one up on her basically is what I'm feeling. This man is prideful. He still wants to blame other people for his actions and inactions. Again, the energy of somebody that could he could make her cry a thousand times. He's only going to think about the one time she made him cry. He could neglect her and push her away and abandon her. And he's only going to think about the one time when she pushed him away. It's it's all, you know what I mean? Just a very selfish energy. Just never being mindful of her feelings and how this impacted her. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the energy I'm getting here. Yeah, justice and the wheel of fortune. Ooh. But yeah, yeah, if he plays games, not only is he gonna lose her for good, but this he's gonna piss the spirit guide off. Cause I keep hearing the spirit guide. The spirit guide is like, I'm gonna like this I don't know what the spirit what is the spirit guide gonna do to them? Damn, maybe I should look into that. <laughs> well, I mean, we got the energy of again, if they try to take the easy way out, if they try to just not take accountability. Um, and just, you know, find something easier. It's gonna, it's gonna look like the grass is greener on the other side at first. And then once he opens up, that rug is going to be ripped out from under him and there's going to be conflict and drama. Um, and again, that's not saying he has to be with this woman. You know what I mean? That's his choice, but it, it's not about that. It's just about the, the lack of accountability, the blaming other people. He's not going to, that's what he's not getting away with. It's not about leaving her. It's just, he's not getting away with doing this to woman after woman after woman. He's not getting away with, um, playing these mind games and trying to one up people and only thinking about himself there the divine is not allowing that anymore but yeah this spirit guide is like pissed like what is what is the spirit guide gonna do because <laughs> I just keep hearing the spirit guide being like I'm not hearing it but I'm feeling the energy of like try try playing one more game with this queen of cups try even just one more game and this spirit guide is gonna fuck his life up Like, this spirit, again, the spirit guide is tired of seeing this woman cry over this man. But yeah, like, these, he's, he's going to have the same games that he played with others are going to, are going to, people are going to play with him. Three of, three of wands, three of, four of wands, the hierophant, blocks from happiness pretty much. I think, oh, that might actually be that energy that I was getting right here. That might actually be the spirit guide that's planning on doing that to him. That spirit guide, remember I was saying, it's like they're just when he's happy, just when he opens up to somebody else, just when he's like finally relaxed, when he's an emotional, in, an, in an emotional state, that's when everything that he did to her is going to be done to him. Three of Wands is like building something. Four of Wands is like twin flame soulmate. So he might, and this might be in the future too. This could be months down the line. Um, but at some point it's like he might meet somebody and he might like relax and be like, Hey, like, and actually like want commitment with this person and he's going to be blocked. He's not going to, he's not going to get this. Basically he's going to be alone. Anyone that he tries to date, there's going to be like drama or conflict, or he's just going to, he's not going to, he's not, he's going to get to a point where he actually does want some kind of commitment because the Hierophant can be like marriage, traditions, four of wands is like peace, stability. He's going to be blocked from it. He's going to want that with someone and she's not going to want it with him and she's going to reject him. There's going to be drama and he's not going to see it coming. That's what I keep getting is like, because he's going to open his heart is what I'm feeling. And just when he opens his heart to this woman is, and it's like a karmic woman. It's, it's not this queen of cups. It's somebody else. Um, and again, that's if he tries to go, if he tries to just say like, oh, this queen of cups was just drama and, and, you know, I'm, I'm the innocent victim here. Like, you know, this woman was just dramatic and crazy. Like, I'm going to go find something easier. He's going to end up with the karmic and it's going to look like perfection at first. It's going to look like, like he's going to fall in love like that with that karmic. Like he's going to think it's everything he's ever wanted. He's going to be planning a future with them. He's going to actually want marriage with them. He might even express this to this karmic. 
Um, and that's, yeah, he's going to be blocked. She's going to be like, she's going to reject him. Like, she's not going to want it with him. This could be a man, too, that just wants what he can't have. So he might end up wanting this with somebody that, like, doesn't want it with him or something like that. Or it's like, it's just going to be drama. Like, it's just going to be, again, as soon as he opens his heart, that's when it's like the, the he, he's, yeah, <laughs> the devil. Page of Swords can be like a message, too. So I almost feel like... And again, these are two different women. So there's the Queen of Cups, High Priestess energy, and then there's this other karmic woman that I feel like he's already met or he would meet in the near future, like within the next few months or so. Um, and again, it's going to be like one of those like love at first sight things. He's going to open up. He's going to he's going to be feeling good. He's going to be like, yeah, all my exes were just dramatic. Like I was just you know, like, I don't need to work on myself. It's, it's women that need to work, you know, it's, it's the women's fault, that kind of energy. And yeah, that's when, that's when shit's just going to go down for him. I feel like this woman would almost, uh, devil in the page of swords. I almost feel like this woman might send him a, he might express that he wants commitment with her or love with her and she's going to be like no thanks like she's going to only string him along for um like inner like his energy or like attention like I feel like this one might be like a psychic vampire type like she might even have some like demonic attachments on her like he might um she almost like a succubus kind of spirit is what I get like she might be very glamorous very attractive and he might think that he just fell in love overnight and it's going to be one of those things, yeah, just blocked, where he's going to start planning a future. He's going to just illusion, just blocks and just illusion. And when he starts planning with her, it's like she's she's like psych, like 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 I think that she doesn't. I'm getting the let me see. I, I'm getting the energy that this karmic doesn't really if he hasn't met her yet and he does meet her, I'm almost getting that she's not really that into him. She's more of like a succubus spirit. Like she just likes lots of attention from different men. Um, and I feel like she'll kind of just use him for like, she'll kind of just use him for like his money or she'll use him for, you know, attention for energy, like, cause she's bored. Cause she's lonely. Like just, so, just to have someone there. Um, and he's going to be way more serious about her than she ever was or ever is about him. Yeah, he's going to be wanting to build build it in the world. The cycle is going to close. It's going to be like, yep. <laughs> she's not whoever she is, this karmic, this karmic woman that he might end up meeting. It's like she's not going to want anything with him. She's not going to. But again, I think I think she likes the energy and attention. So she'll make sure he opens his heart up because she likes that. She's probably like a succubus psychic vampire type. I'm seeing somebody that like does their makeup all the time like and there's nothing wrong with that but it's just somebody that's not very natural like somebody that's very like like a woman that cares a lot about their image like they always have to have like their makeup done they have to like look a certain way like very very lustful kind of playful kind of energy but it's like but yeah once he opens his heart up that that rug is is swept out from under him because yeah because I feel like she just likes attention from lots of guys she's not really she's not a very deep person she's not somebody that really wants love or anything but but again when she's bored or lonely she'll entertain him or when she wants that ego boost um kind of like what he did to this woman actually you know only coming around when he's bored and lonely for an ego boost you know didn't he you know didn't really genuinely love this queen of cups so that's kind of the energy that, you know, he's going to, he's going to go through that with somebody. He's going to go through that. Cause I almost feel like he's going to get the wrong idea and he's going to be like all over this woman. And then that's when she, like, he's going to be thinking about like marriage or thinking about like long-term with this woman. And then that's when she's going to be like, oh no, I'm just, I'm just playing around. Like, I'm not like this karmic is going to be like, no, I got the energy. I got the money I wanted from you or I got the energy I wanted from you. She's going to leave him behind. It's going to it's going to be a shock to him. It's going to be a shock to him. <laughs> That's what's going to force him to be a real man though too, the emperor, the 5 of cups. It's like He was almost going to be in that energy of like, oh, like I thought, I thought I was, 
Like, his ego is just going to be so bruised. Like, his ego is just... <laughs> yeah. He's going to be forced to go inward again, but again, in a much more... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's going to be in his head, anxiety, sleepless nights... He's going to, this woman, this succubus type spirit is going to embarrass the fuck out of him. Like she is going to, she is going to ruin his reputation. She is going to embarrass him. If she, I almost feel like, I almost feel like this spirit guy that's pissed on this queen of cups behalf might even bring this other woman in to kind of mess with him a little bit. That might be like his bad karma, like this this spirit guy that's tired of seeing this woman cry over him. She might bring this in to kind of mess with him. Like it might be, um, how to explain it? Like this spirit guide might work with both this woman and the karmic woman kind of thing is what I'm getting. Like she might, like this spirit guide might be like, okay, I want justice for this queen of cups that has gone through way too much shit over this man. Um, and then she might ask like one of her followers or something, like if it's like, a you know, with like a god or goddess, like they might ask one of their followers, hey, do you want to like seduce this man for me? Um, it's part of his karmic lesson. He's going down a harder path. You want to help me and I'll reward you for helping me. It's it's like one of those because I just see her being super glamorous, super like very popular woman. And um, I'm seeing like somebody who seems super they have a darker this woman has a darker energy, though. But yeah, it's like right when he opens his heart, nine of swords, anxiety gets crushed. She's going to embarrass him. I feel like she's going to mess up his reputation too, because I kind of get the energy of her like. She's very confident, whoever she is. And I almost get the energy if he tries to play her, because when he when she when he finds out that she just wanted his money or she was just bored and lonely and again, just kind of using her or, or, or just kind of um, she was just kind of using him for something like, just, you know, I feel like he might even try to play games with her because his ego is going to be crushed. Like they might have a falling out. Um, and I feel like, too, I also feel like this woman's very confident, so I don't think she's going to put up with the games like she's going to see right through him. The difference is that this Queen of Cups saw, right, like, saw the, like, she recognized the games, but she wanted to be patient and understanding and gentle with him. Maybe she made excuses for him. Maybe she really hoped that it would change because she loves him so much or loved him so much. Um, this woman doesn't have that love for him, though. This karmic woman doesn't have that same love for him because I just keep getting this energy. Like, if he tries to play these games with this karmic, She's she's going to be like, fuck you. And she's going to get revenge. She's going to ruin his whole reputation. This woman might actually hex him. This queen of cups won't hex him, but this karmic might actually hex him. Or this karmic might tell people like if they have mutual friends, this karmic might go around and be like, yeah, this person's a piece of shit. This person tried to it's like he's going to try to do the same shit where he likes to one up women. He likes to be the one in control. Um but he needs to like if he wants to be in control he needs to develop a genuine emperor energy like a genuine daddy energy because it's like men in control are are like in the right ways that's incredibly sexy but a man that's taking controls in toxic ways like a man that takes control and doesn't know what he's doing he's just going to be met with conflict so it's it's going to be like this this man is going to have his this woman's going to fuck his ego up this karmic and he's going to try to one up her like he's done with so many women in the past. He's going to make it a power struggle. He's going to try to, you know, he's going to try to he's going to be sneaky. He's going to try something here and she's going to see right through it. And she's going to call him out. She's going to she's going to mess his ego up. She's probably I keep saying like maybe she's going to hex him or maybe she's going to if they have mutual friends in the community, like if they all know the same people, she's going to spread rumors. She might even spread lies about him. She might not even care if it's accurate. She might just go around saying like, oh, yeah, I slept with him and it was really horrible. Like he wasn't good in bed. Like some I don't know, like she's going to do something. It's like he's going to try to get revenge on her. He's going to try to do something petty and she's going to be like 10 steps ahead of him. She's like, oh, hell no, you're not trying that with me. Uh, -uh. <laughs> So, yeah, it's not it's not going to. Him trying to play the field, see if the grass is greener on the other side. It's going to go horribly for him. It's going to go. It's going to be a big mess. His, his ego is going to be crushed. 
He's gonna go through an ego death either way. And sadly, if he does go through this, if he does date somebody else, I feel like this Queen of Cups will be done for good. I feel like he'll be in that state where he'll want to offer this Queen of Cups some, some something and she's going to be like, oh no, you dated somebody else. Like you went with somebody else when you had the chance to, you know, step up and act like a real man and apologize to me and put the work in, put the effort in, you know, like she's, this Queen of Cups is going to be like, you had that, you know, you had that plenty of chances to, to come through, to apologize, to make amends. Um, it looks like there's still some opportunity for that right now, even, you know, she's going to be like, you know, you could have apologized. You could have said, hey, I love you. I want to work through things with you. I want to be better. I don't want to play games anymore. I want to get on the same page with you. I want us to be vulnerable with each other. I want, you know, I want to to put the effort in. And this Queen of Cups would have worked with him. But I'm getting the sense of this, because this, this, this potential karmic relationship, I feel like might be a ways away. But I feel like, yeah, she's not... She's not going to be waiting. This Queen of Cups is not going to be waiting for months. If he goes off and does this and dates another woman and goes through all this, he's going to be left with nobody. Not only is he not going to have her, but he's not going to have this woman either. Um, you know, because if he goes off and dates somebody else and she sees that, she's going to be like, fuck you. You're like, she's blocked. Like, you're never going to talk. You're never going to see me again kind of energy. She's There's no way. After everything he's already put this Queen of Cups through, there's no way she'll ever even talk to him again if he if he dates somebody else at this point like he'll never see her again if he tries that shit but yeah it's sad too because it's not even going to work with that woman it might be like a temporary like maybe like a couple months they'll be hanging out having fun but but this this woman is going to end up rejecting him and fucking his ego up I don't see it going well either. I see her either hexing him or I see her just ruining his reputation, the community, maybe both. And that's when he's going to have anxiety and he's going to realize, oh, wow, like, you know, this this woman rejected me when I was at my most vulnerable, just the same way I rejected this woman when she was at her most vulnerable. And that's when he's going to have this clarity and he's going to want to come through with this Ace of Cups and give this to, you know, this this Queen of Cups. And that's when the Queen of Cups is going to be like, oh, no. No, after you date somebody else, like you go on that other path when you could have, you know, been a real man and made things right with me. Oh, no, you're not getting another chance after that. Yeah, because she's going to be the empress at that point. Truth and clarity. She's going to be like, she's going to see this man. She's probably already really seeing this man in a different light. Honestly, she's probably already feeling like he's shady, like he's untrustworthy, like like he would really need to put some effort in to gain her trust back. But at that point, like if he went down a whole nother karmic path for a few months or so, at that point, there would be like she like when he comes back to her, she's not going to be the Queen of Cups anymore. She's going to be the Empress, which is all four queens combined. Ace of Swords, Truth, Clarity. She's going to be like, oh, no, like you dated like, no. Yeah, he's going to get left out in the cold if he wants to if he wants to try that. She's going to be the Queen of Swords. Yeah. Cut through it. She's going to be like, oh, fuck, no. <laughs> you you saw how much you broke me. You saw how much you hurt me and you. You figured you'd, instead of fixing it, instead of, you know, acting like a real man, you figured you would just go play the field and, and go off with somebody else and just come back to me when that doesn't work out. Oh, no. Uh-uh. She'll be the queen of swords. She'll be like, she'll just be like, fuck you. Bye. Like, <laughs> like he will not. If he does that, if he chooses the karmic path. But again, he's at that crossroads right now. So it's up to him wh which direction he wants to go. But if he goes down the karmic path, there's no coming back from that. I mean, I don't, I don't see, at least I don't see that. I, I feel like she would be pretty, she would be pretty defensive at that point. You know, she might already be defensive, but she's still somewhat open depending on what he does next. But his actions or inactions determine whether she gets more defensive or whether she opens up more. It's up to him. But any games, any games he tries to play, making her jealous, hurting her anyway, he's, he's going to push this Queen of Cups further away, like I said, and... He's also going to be met with some pretty bad karma from this spirit guy that's come in on this Queen of Cups behalf. This spirit guide is going to play him. However, whatever he tries to do to this woman, this spirit guide is going to do to him. He tries to play her. He tries to hurt her. This spirit guide is going to do that to him. You know, like I just keep hearing like I'm going to play him like it's not even funny. Like this spirit guide is like not playing anymore. She's so done with this woman being in pain over this man. He or she. 
Um, but this spirit guide is like, no, like, I'm like, no, you're not playing any games with her anymore. It's gonna, it, it's gonna backfire on him. Like he's like, he's gonna freak out and he's gonna think that like someone's, he, he's gonna freak out and it's just gonna be a spirit around him. It's not gonna be any, you know what I mean? It's not gonna be like a demon or like any a hex or anything. It's gonna be the spirit guide that's just gonna be like, no, I'm messing your life up. But yeah, I mean, hopefully this man chooses not to go down the karmic path. Hopefully he chooses to go down a better path and take accountability. Um, I keep getting in remember part two of that video. Like I was doing like part two where I was talking about like the masculines. Uh, I was talking about how the masculines like, you know, it's like they're drowning, but like they're drowning themselves. Like if they just stopped and like listened and like calmed down, like they would be okay, they would float, but they are drowning themselves. They are the ones doing this to themselves. They are the ones creating the, the blocks between them and love, them and abundance, them and the, the money. Like they are the ones doing it to themselves. This mask, these group of masculines might be so wounded from their past that they haven't healed, that they might project things onto other people and think that people are like rejecting them or out to get them or hurting them when they're actually not doing anything to them. It's their projection, projections, their past wounding. They're, they're not seeing reality clearly. You know what I mean? Like, this Queen of Cups would be open to him if he made the effort, if he made the gesture, if he made, if he took a leap of faith for her. But again, I don't think she's going to be open forever. Like I said, she's, she's already probably pretty guarded and pretty distrusting. And there's already a lot of work that would need to be done to gain her trust back. But... But again, if he goes down a karmic path, that's he's going to come back and he's going to he's going to have these epiphanies about this Queen of Cups and he's going to try to come back. And she's going to be like, no, I'm the Empress now. I'm the Ace of Swords. I don't I don't trust you. You shouldn't have gone off with somebody else like you shouldn't. She's going to she's going to be so defensive. She's going to be like, oh, no, mm mm. Because I'll work, she, you know, this Queen of Cups is like, oh, if it's just me and you, like, I'll work through these traumas with you. I'll work through these issues with you. You bring another woman into it, though. Oh, hell no. Uh-uh. Nope. Like, she's, the, the Queen of Cups, the High Priestess is not, the Empress, she is not an option. She is the only choice. If you don't choose her, you lose her. That's it. But yeah, hopefully this man is smart and doesn't try to play any stupid little games. Because like I said, that's going to backfire so bad on him. His life is going to get fucked up in multiple ways if he tries if he tries playing people like that anymore. The divine has stepped in, his spirit guides have stepped in. And again, not saying he's a horrible man. He's just he's probably a really good man that has a lot of traumas that he needs to work through. You know, but he can't be playing games with people like this. Oh hell no. Yeah, nope. Um what was I going to say about that? Sorry, I didn't even realize it was, like, all the way up there. <laughs> yeah, hopefully he, you know... Oh, what I was saying about, like, the drowning thing, it's like, yeah, it's like he's not... It's like he's drowning himself, and if he stops and he just listens and, and relaxes, he's going to realize he is the one... Nobody's rejecting him. He's rejecting himself. He's sabotaging his own blessings. He's sabotaging love. He's pushing love away. He's pushing money away. He's pushing abundance and happiness away with his self-sabotage. It's nobody that's doing that to him. He is doing that to himself, you know? And so it's like, hopefully... It's just sad because it's almost like somebody that's like, you know, like stuck, but they're like making it... They're their own worst enemy. Like, they're making it so much worse for themselves. Damn. Um, so, yeah, I mean, hopefully this this man chooses to chooses, chooses to go down a better route. Um, you know, start making the effort, start making amends with people. Yeah, there's a lot of intense energy. But either way, he's not going to be allowed to play games with anybody. That's not... Mm -mm. That's coming to an end. That's worked for him, I think, for a long time, playing games with people, trying to one-up people. He might have learned that from a past relationship, too, where it was, like, a power struggle, like, you know. So so I have that sympathy for this man, you know what I mean? Like, he, you know, this, this for this group of masculines, they might have 
been through something that made them see relationships as a game but but that cycle is is coming to an end now again they're not they're not not only with this queen of cups but with anybody they play games with anybody they're gonna get fucked up like this spirit these spirit the spirit whoever this is is gonna fuck them up if they try playing games like that and again it's gonna backfire like if they're trying to get someone's someone's attention by playing these games they're gonna actually push that person much further away you know, where they might still have some opportunity with her now, but they could get themselves to a point where they don't even have any opportunity with her. It's up to them on what they do next. But but yeah, again, if you're watching this on behalf of a man, like just, you know, it's it's on them. They're making these conscious decisions. They get to choose what they do next. They can they can get if even if you have bad karma, you can you can balance things out and get better karma. You know what I mean? Like if this man were to wake up tomorrow and he's like, you know what, I'm going to apologize to people. I'm going to I'm going to own my, I'm going to own my shit. I'm going to get some help for this. I'm going to, um, take accountability. Like I'm going to start working through things. He would start balancing out that karma and his bad karma would get better. Like he would start having better karma. You know what I mean? But, but again, you, you can't, he might try to trick his spirit guides. You can't trick the divine. They can feel your energy. You, you can't, there would have to be like a genuine desire to change and do right by people. But anyway, so I mean, I guess time will tell what this person does next. But anyway, I'm going to put this out there. Thank you guys for watching.